Will I ever do plastic surgery? <laughs> Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I am Renee Rowena and I welcome you all. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and turn those post notification bell on so you'll be notified each time I post. Plastic surgery guys. What's your take on it? Are you for it? Are you against it? Please let me know in the comment section below. So as we all know, plastic surgery is a surgical specialty that has to do with any alteration, reconstruction, or restoration of the human body. There are many different types of plastic surgeries that you can get done and people are doing them on a daily basis. We have breast augmentation, lip augmentation, liposuction, tummy tuck, face lift, you name it, they have it. So yeah, people are getting them done for who knows what, whatever reasons. I mean, every person is different. Every decision is different. Um, I'm sure they, they know um, as to why they're getting it done. And who are we to judge? You know what I mean? I'm not against it and I'm not for it in a sense where... I don't believe in judging another person for their decisions because I don't know why they made that decision. I don't know what they've been through. I don't know how they felt within themselves at that particular time as to why they made whatever decisions. I believe in doing whatever makes you happy and confident within yourself. In other words, if there's something that is bothering you, something that you constantly think about on a daily basis, maybe five to seven times a day, like it's constantly on your mind and you want to make a change, go for it. I believe in making yourself happy, whether you want to go the extra mile to make yourself happy, whatever, just be happy. I don't believe in judging people. Will I ever do plastic surgery? <laughs> I've never thought about it. Um, <laughs> I don't think so. Do I judge people who are getting it done? Absolutely not. Definitely not. So one of the stigma that goes with plastic surgery, people think that, you know, people who are getting it done, outsiders may think that they're doing it because they think of themselves as ugly. Um, some people think they're just not comfortable um, with how they look so they you, they get it done um, you know various reasons I've never really thought negatively about it well no that's a lie okay let me put it this way I am against going over the top with it you know some people they may get something done say on their face like maybe a nose lift or whatever and then a couple months after they have to go and correct their eyes and then they have to go and uh, and do their lips and then they have to go again and tighten their face like okay so I'm against going over the top with it and not looking like yourself at all so I don't think it's about not loving yourself I think it's more about not feeling comfortable with whatever part of the body you want to get done. I think it has to do with their self-esteem and their self-confidence. Um, they want to feel better about themselves. They want to feel comfortable in their skin. They want to feel confident. Our body changes as we grow older and with circumstances, experiences. Um, say for instance, a pregnant woman, she may have deflated breasts after giving birth you know her breast is not stiff anymore and you know she's just not comfortable with how they look she might want to get a breast augmentation um is it wrong hey who are we to judge if she's not comfortable with how she's looking and she can do something about that to be more confident with herself to be um to be more happy within her skin and to build her self-esteem then why not another thing is um, you know when people get it done and they may not want to agree that they actually went under 
sometimes we may bash them and say oh we know that you did this you did that but have you ever stopped to think that they probably don't want to reveal it because of the publicity backlash like that is real and not all of us can deal with that not everybody has a strong self-esteem and can put up with people judging or mocking or saying bad things or negative things about what they've done we are all living in a time within a society where we are told to accept our flaws but that is easier said than done because they're telling us to accept our flaws but at the same time they're painting a picture that this is acceptable uh, this body type is acceptable that body type is not acceptable this body type is beautiful that body type is not beautiful if I have a body type that you consider not beautiful and at the same time you're gonna paint a picture that this body type is acceptable this body type is beautiful and I want to make changes to my body so that I can be accepted into society how are you gonna now say that we should accept our flaws like you see where I'm getting at like I said everyone is different everyone has their their reasons every decision is different sometimes it's more of a need than want and like I said if you have something that is bothering you if you're not comfortable with a particular area of your body and you want to get it fixed then so be it well, I can use myself as an example, actually. I'm a new mom, and before I had Zane, Zane is now seven months. Before I had Zane, I had... I don't want to see a perfect body because none of us is perfect. But I had, let's say, average. An average body type. Okay? And let me also mention, I love my child to death. I wouldn't take back anything that I went through. Um, to bring him into this world uh, bringing a child into the world is it's a blessing okay however pregnancy changes your body it will never ever be the same never am I comfortable with my body right now to some extent no I don't mind the stretch marks on my tummy what I do mind is the extra baby fat that I can't do anything about at this point in time because I had a c-section and my body is still healing so I cannot do the excess workout to burn the fat okay another thing my breasts my jelly beans they're no longer stiff as they used to be they're a little bit deflated okay I don't really mind that uh, not because I don't mind that doesn't mean that another mother has no problem with it I've reasoned with other young mothers like myself and they're planning to do surgery on their breasts and on their uh, their tummy and I don't judge them at all um, I have nothing negative to say about it because I don't know how they feel within themselves like we look at others and we judge people for the decisions they make when we don't know how they feel in themselves what they have to go through on a daily basis looking in the mirror um looking at themselves or how they feel passing somebody on the street when you look at them you don't know how they feel inside they're probably thinking oh they're looking at my big tummy or they're looking at my deflated breasts or whatever so we can't judge people for the decisions they make because we're not in their position and and who are we to judge it's just like wearing makeup okay so you're gonna put makeup on your face you're adding to your to your body right and you don't see a problem with that but you're gonna have problem with someone who gets uh, a breast augmentation or uh, a nose job or or a butt job it's the same thing we can't judge people everybody deal with their flaws and insecurities differently and in closing guys again I am not saying that plastic surgery is bad 
I'm just saying, this is my personal opinion. I am not for it, but I'm also not against it. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to judge others for wanting to partake of. Because I don't believe in that. And I'm going to say this again. Do whatever you need to do to build your self-esteem, to make yourself happy, and to make yourself more confident. So there you have it, guys. That's just my little opinion on plastic surgery. Please let me know in the comment section below if you're for it or against it. And let me know why. I'll be checking those out. Again, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and join the family. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in with me today. And I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.